Hi everyone, it's Katie and today I'm going to be talking to you about performance anxiety and stage fright. A lot of you have this problem. You've written to me about Nutcracker performances coming up, um, also your ballet examinations coming up, so don't worry, I'm going to help you. It's actually very simple to get over your stage fright, but it's not easy. It will take time, but there are some simple tricks you can use, so I hope this really helps you. I myself have never had stage fright or performance anxiety, but I do get nervous or anxious about certain things. For example, taking when I danced Aurora, I wasn't nervous about the whole performance itself, just a couple of the variations and tricky moments. So I do get nervous, but for specific things, um, but I know all of my tips and tricks will help you. The first thing you want to do, it has nothing whatsoever to do with stage fright or anxiety, and that's to make sure you're prepared. Whether it's a performance, an audition, an examination, think about how much more anxious you're going to be if you're not warmed up, if you don't have everything you need, if you didn't bring the right shoes, if you get there late, you know, that's going to add to your anxiety and to your fear. So I highly recommend that you really think about everything you're going to need, either for the audition, performance, examination, whatever it is you need, make a list. What makeup do I need? What hair products do I need? What shoes? What tights? that kind of thing. So you are well prepared and advanced. So when you get there to the audition performance, etc., you will be definitely prepared and it won't add to your stress level. Make sure you're warmed up. The worst feeling in the world is going out on stage cold and kind of trying to fight that the whole performance. Or in an audition, if you weren't warmed up enough, you're fighting it. You're already nervous and then you're fighting another element. So make sure you're warmed up you do a proper warm-up. I will be doing a warm-up video coming up soon, a class warm-up video. You've all been asking me for that. So that is coming up, so you can do that little routine. It will not be long, maybe 10 or 15 minutes or so. But make sure you're warm. Um, again, as I mentioned, make sure you have everything. And make sure you're there in plenty of time. Um, for the performances in the New York City Ballet, as well as any other company, I can pretty much guarantee you, we had to be signed in by half hour. So but they made sure everybody was there, everybody was there for the performance, they had their time to, to warm up and get ready. Most of us got there around two and a half to an hour and a half before. So it just gave everybody a sense of calm knowing they were there by half hour, everybody was going to be at the performance, and we had plenty of time. So make sure you give yourself enough time, make sure you bring everything you need, and make sure you're properly warm. The next thing I want you to remember sounds very, very simple, but it's not, and that is to breathe. The more you Inhale and, and don't breathe. The more stressed you're going to get and the more tired you're going to get. I have personally found in my performances, the more I get nervous and don't breathe, the more tired I get and the more just exhausted I am on the stage and it's not fun. So I really encourage you all to keep breathing and make a conscious effort to breathe. Again, this sounds very, very basic, but if you really think about your breath and think about relaxing and exhaling, I guarantee you it will help you. So if you're in a performance, breathing wise, if you're standing on the side or if you're in the wings or there's a moment where you are not dancing, rem just consciously remember your breath. Because obviously when you're dancing it's very very hard to worry about the steps, worry about performing, and breathe. So whenever you get the chance, make sure you do breathe. Same thing with auditions and examinations. Before every combination, just exhale. Just and that can really, really help your anxiety level, trust me. Because again, if you don't breathe, you're like this the whole time, and it just, it really doesn't help. Plus, the auditioners or the uh, ballet masters doing the examination will notice you're kind of like this. So if you breathe, it will really, really help. Something that always helps me with my anxiety level in a performance is to really be into the story and the character. With Aurora, Sleeping Beauty is such a difficult ballet. It is a beast. It is so technically challenging that, and you're out there in a tutu, and you're, you're kind of, you feel very, very naked out there. There's so many steps in so little time. The Rose Adagio is the first thing that starts the ballet. It's so challenging. So the thing that would help me get over that fear of so many hurdles is really being in the character and in the story. Because if you focus on performing and being the character, whatever role you have, you could be the last garland girl in the back, 
but focus on your character and the story and what you're trying to portray. And it, it's a mind trick. It takes your mind off of the steps and the difficulty. Because think about it, in class, if you think, okay, I'm going to do a pirouette. Here it comes. I'm going to fourth, and it, it rarely ever works, rather than if you just go into it and do it. You know, not even thinking about it, not worrying about it. Same thing with a performance. If I'm focused on being the character, for example, as I said, Aurora. I'm Aurora, I'm a 16 years old, and I'm on the stage with everybody, and then now I'm going to do a turn. It, it's rather than, oh my gosh, I have to balance. Okay, there's over there, and I have to do this, and it's eight minutes long. You know, you, if you're really in the story, and you're in the character, it takes your mind off the steps and it will happen naturally. If you're performing or doing an examination or an audition, you're well trained. It's in you, muscle memory. You know the steps, you know how to do the steps. So in that performance, just think about being the character and it will naturally happen. The more you worry about it, the more you tense up and the more you stress about it, the harder the steps are going to be and the more nervous you're going to get. So be in the story and be your character and again, it will take your mind off being scared and all of the difficult steps. Something else that really, really helps me when I'm nervous before a performance or if I'm a little jittery is that I remember that the audience is not there to see me fail. Think about it. Every time you go to a performance or you go to see a play or something or a musical, do you sit in the audience and say, I hope they fall. I hope this. I hope she messes up. Oh, I really want to see them do badly. You don't. You go there to enjoy yourself. You go there to see a beautiful performance. You want to see them do well. Same thing applies when you're on stage. The audience is excited to be there. They're not there to criticize. Now granted, there might be a few people in the audience who are like that, but 99% of the audience is not. So think about it. When you're doing a performance, really feel like you're there to share, not to prove anything. You're there to do your best, it's not going to be perfect. It never is. I've never had a perfect performance. Anybody who has a perfect performance might as well stop. So it's not about perfection. It's about you doing the best job you can and the audience is, is there to see you do your best and they want to see you do your best. They want to see a beautiful show. They're not hoping you're going to fail. So that is something that can really help you in a performance. Now obviously if you're doing an examination or an audition, they are there to find your mistakes, to you know, see what you can and cannot do. They're not also there to criticize. Nobody in an audition is sitting there going, I think she's terrible and da da da. They're there to see what you can and cannot do. Because especially if it's an audition for a school, you're going to that school to improve. You're not going there to be perfect. Again, nobody is. So in an audition, remember, yes, they are seeing what you do right and wrong, but they're not there to completely judge you, to completely criticize. They just want to see what your abilities are. So just do your best and know that it's enough. And if you get an audition, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. In my audition video, which I will link right here, I mentioned that just because you don't get an audition doesn't necessarily mean it has something to do with you. They might not have a spot. They might be looking for someone else. If it's a Broadway audition or you're auditioning for a role, they might need somebody taller or shorter or a different color hair. It's not always entirely your fault. So just in auditions, do your best. You know, remember that they are looking to see your strengths and weaknesses not to completely judge and criticize you. Now obviously in school examinations, it is the same thing as an audition. They're seeing what you can do, what you still need to work on. Those are a little bit tricky. I will be honest with all of you, I've never attended a ballet school where there are ballet examinations or term examinations. I'm not even entirely sure of the term you use, but I've never had an actual examination at a ballet school. It was always that we did what we did, we had the end of the year performance, and then we either got moved up or not. Most of us did. I don't even remember anybody ever repeating a year. So I've never actually experienced a ballet examination. But I would imagine the same thing applies. Just do your best, show your strengths. If you're on something that's a weakness for you, for example, let's say turns are not your strength, just again, do everything else you can. Make your lines beautiful. Make your placement beautiful. Think about your upper body. So play to your strengths. Same thing goes for auditions. You can sort of fake them out a little bit with your weaknesses. If you still look confident, if you still do the upper body, if you still place your feet beautifully, you can fake them out a tiny bit. So really just focus on your strengths 
and let them worry about what you need to work on. Because again, if it's for a ballet school, especially auditions, you're going there to improve anyway. If it's a ballet examination, they'll, they'll promote you and you'll keep working. So it's never about criticism or judgment. It's about strengths and weaknesses and what you can improve. My last little tip is something that I think I've already said and I've said so many times, and that is just do your best and enjoy yourself, especially in a performance. You know, the audience is there to, to see you do well, and you're there to enjoy yourself. You're there because you love it. You are there because dancing is what you love to do. So try and remember that. Again, you have only to share, nothing to prove. Just do your best. It will be enough. Nobody is perfect. So I hope this helped all of you. Again, you can always ask me a question in the comments. You can write me on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram or something. I can't promise I'll always get back to you right away. Um, I do get a lot these days. But I am here for you all. And if you're worried about something or you have a performance coming up or an audition coming up, please ask me a question. I will be happy to help you. Also remember I have live classes coming up starting December 14th. I will link my studio below and I can't wait to do that. I've already gotten so many great responses from all of you. I'm so excited about it to start working with all of you, to start helping you. I'm sure everybody is going to benefit from it, including myself. Also be looking for some vlogs coming up. I will be starting that very, very soon. They will be in addition to the Tuesday and Friday videos, so you still will get all of this kind of content in addition to vlogs. They will just kind of go up whenever, so be looking for those. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and here's some more that you might like. Also, I'd love to have you subscribe here. Thanks again for watching.